is in their back pocket for us and there we're going to get started strong <laughs> control point against the university of utah and our teams are looking strong right off the bat we're going to see no sam on the winston charging up into the high ground on that rooftop putting down that shield squeak in kind playing winston himself we're not going to see a mirror comp but relatively similar dps and uh line of sight heroes really holding down these choke points on this map an interesting thing i don't think we saw but we we caught a little glimpse of it ourselves Instead of using the Symmetra tactic, we saw a little bit of a Juno swap come through to get that initial speed boost and send out that speed ring. Interesting change in the meta there. But now we're seeing No Sam move in. It looks like this is going to be a Winston duel here on the first point. Diving in on Soaks, gets him down to half. Going in with his Tracer, trying to pick them off, but Squeak getting off one of their DPSs. No Sam getting both supports out of the game. Saints trying to establish a strong control on this point. Squeak is now dueling it out with the tank of University of Utah, but Squeak actually gets taken down pretty low. Razor getting kind of spiked out of the air, forced down on the Echo with 86% alt already. That is the highest by far in the map. Next up is going to be the Tracer on University of Utah with 82. Saints already leading strong. Razor with the alt in his pocket. Whether or not he wants to try to use that advantage early or play something more conservatively, we're going to have to wait and see. But right now, University of Utah holding possession of the point. Saints are going have to try to find an answer and they get the Winston slipped he's gonna get taken down immediately that's no tank oh they're gonna use the trick bomb on the tracer not gonna find anybody <laughs> Razor and the rest of the Saints wiping up University of Utah as they lose their tank and now they lose the point the Saints are holding this one strong and they're gonna take back control 28% they are interesting pick to copy of the Anna just getting that little bit of extra healing to keep everybody up I guess sleep dart and anti heal is so strong as well good choice by Razor we see mm -hmm. No Sam approach from above, getting the position to jump in on this <laughs> Razor. And now he gets the pick down a DPS. The Saints doing a good job at the defense. They're still being picked off one by one. Yeah, they're holding 50% strong. University of Utah got some percentage on the point, or at least got some progress on it, but Squeak doing a great job of defending it, sweeping off that tracer and making sure nobody gets too comfortable pushing up on it. Sonic just throwing a health kit to one of his teammates super low. Red X getting blown up. Now Saints are down to support. Now they're down to DPS. Noxious is going to fall shortly after. And we're going to see the Echo turn into the Winston, and it's a Winston duel. You don't want to deal with one Winston, but now Squeak has to deal with two, and that's proving to be one. One too many. He's gonna go down, and now <laughs> the Saints are trying to make sure they can't lose that point. But University of Utah gonna take it back. How many monkeys are jumping on the point? You know, three monkeys all up there. <laughs> Tesla coil rampage. But once again, University of Utah gonna regain control of the point. Saints have a very significant lead, though. If they can capture the point, I think that's going to be it for this single point. Soaks just barely squeaking out with his life there. Going on the offensive with the DPS. They're just trying to retake point, get as much as they can here. Going to break that 80% mark with the alt economy looking how it does. I think Saints are going to be in for one hell of a team fight. Yeah, I mean, the way things are looking right now, University of Utah is going to have a lot in the back. He's just going to have his ultimate soon enough, and especially if he comes out on top in this little exchange he has, 95%. No Sam, not really getting too much done here. Noxious is going to be poking him down as we're waiting for the rest of the Saints to get back into the point. Noxious doing a great job forcing No Sam off the point and winning the duel with the enemy Tracer. Over time, the Saints are holding this down. They just need to make sure nobody can get the touch from Utah on this point for just a couple of more seconds, and so far, No Sam holding down the fort, but he's kind of by himself here. Nobody ready to back him up. Going to throw down the bubble shield as his echo makes their way into it, and they're going to get the capture. 55% now. St. Clair College just needs to recapture one more time to win this game. They have Noxious' tr tracer bomb in hand. Can he make a huge play to take down this Winston or maybe one of the DPSs to really blow open this point for the Saints? Yeah, Saints having great pace, but that's a huge pick by Kalau there. It's going to take out Razor. No more ult on the board. Going to get no Sam out of the game, though, with no tank. The Saints should be able to take this one. And if they can just get one team clear here, they're going to get the first point on this map. And now Hawk taking down Red X, getting a big sleep on Squeak. He's going to be vulnerable, gets pushed back. But now he's going to unleash the beast and go all nuts all over this Anna. Get her down, get onto the point. Point. Huge clear, but there's still one annoying person on this point. It's gonna be that. Wow, I cannot believe No Sam got the pick on Squeak with the jump as well. 
But Squeak got rid of Sonic. Red X getting one. There's traits left and right, up and down, all around. Looks like there's more Saints on the point, though. There's only one on the side of Utah. Overtime is ticking down. It's looking more and more likely like the Saints might be able to win this, but a Tracer oh transform God. on the Echo barely gets out, but the recall cancels out the Stickies, and that's going to be St. Clair taking the point. That Echo really stood there for so long. Basically, they needed to kill that Echo like three or four times there because changed into Tracer, used the recall, went back into Echo, that and then crazy. just evaded death one more time before finally going down. And that almost bought enough time for University of Utah to find their way back onto the point, but the Saints ultimately able to get the kill in time. And that's gonna allow, allow them to take round one in this first map here, but they still have one more point to capture. So far, we haven't seen much uh, switching shenanigans, no. which I'm not too surprised about, especially in a very fast-paced game mode like this. Every second matters and every percentage point matters especially and you don't really have much element of surprise when the map is this wide open exactly and one thing like we were talking about earlier the bump of tracer's hp that was like quite a few up ago has just cemented tracer as a must pick in the meta mm. that extra little bit of hp makes sure makes sure that tracer gets out with at least like five hp 175 is just a little bit too much to take down two hits yeah, for sure, and it's paying a lot in dividends as Noxious has been able to open up so many opportunities. You see here, with help from Squeak, of course, able to take down No Sam right at the start of this game, making sure that University of Utah is not going to have a tank to allow them to capture this point, cementing Saints having that early advantage in this second round of this map. And with the percentage already going their way, we're just seeing No Sam making his way back with 23%, but look at the alts all on the side of the Saints, all just beating everybody on their counterparts on the side of University. Utah and they're going to have all their alts ready first. Yeah, they're cementing their lead in the game. Their lead is looking concrete, but oh, with a well oh, almost okay. dive, this might be the thing that shatters that concrete with a sledgehammer. That sledgehammer is being wielded by No Sam. Such pressure of being popped out by this bubble shield. He's going to leap in all on the back line. Disruption there. PKD just peppering in from the back line as well, trying to get in any little advantage. Soaks though, huge pick on No Sam. Sam with no tank, it's going to be a no-go from the University of Utah. That's not going to stop them from trying for sure. Actually, well, you know what will <laughs> stop them from trying? It's going to be death. They're going to all get wiped except for this lone Echo, forced to retreat to come back with the team. It's better to do that than to be the lone survivor who dies, and then your team has to wait for you to respawn. Razor trying to get the dogfight in his favor. Not quite going to find too much, but at least holding them back for now. 56% on the board for the Saints. University of Utah with their alts coming online very soon, but the Saints looking to have their second wave ready as well with Soaks. Oh, it looks like Noxious use his not gonna find any kills with it but still red x and soaks holding their very very valuable team fighting alts in the back pocket and we're gonna see red x and soaks commit both of them and they're gonna use it to great effect holding off this push squeak getting from behind making sure that no survivors are gonna get out of this one they're gonna trade some deaths here and there but ultimately the saints are gonna have that favorable hold on this point they're still gonna have squeak and razor's gonna get the transformation into the tracer gonna be able to win this duel hopefully chase down this lucio see if he can force him back, maybe even force the alternate. Not going to be able to do quite that, but with the bomb in his pocket, going to throw it, not going to find much. A little bit of damage on the enemy tracer. Squeak going to go rage mode, forcing them <laughs> all back. No one's going to dare touch foot on this point. We're going to see Ray use the Kiriko ultimate. They're going to get the capture soon, but no, Squeak finds his way back on the point. He's going to get set flying, however, and that's going to buy enough time for University of Utah to get the point. Just unfortunately wasting a lot of this Winston ult as he was Yeah, that was a major sleep on the side of St. Clair. No Sam just going absolutely hog wild or ape wild here <laughs> nice. on this point. Squeak getting the elimination with Razor though. It's going to be a turning point for this match. Gets another pick. Sonic getting a lucky boop over on Sooks. But now in overtime, 99% on the board. That's going to be Saints getting 2-0 on this first game. Yeah, and this looks very convincing. This looks like the Saints I'm used to seeing on the Overwatch squad. I feel like they didn't really struggle in any regard when it came to executing their team composition. They were winning their fights they were getting the picks that they needed they always had the alt advantage and i feel like this is just playing overwatch comfortably it's beautiful in overwatch comfort this play of the game 
we got to admit, University of Utah had some crazy Absolutely. mechanical skill in here, but I think the Saints teamwork is really what set them apart there in that match. Yeah, the Saints were able to just, like I said, it felt like their macro play was just so much more dominant. There wasn't a lot that I felt University of Utah were able to do when it came to trying to push into those sites, especially they won both of those early fights to get the first capture. And then University of Utah, I felt like they were chasing them that entire series, trying to find an answer, trying to figure out how to finally break that defense and the Saints never really gave them a chance. Uh, yeah, the Saints, they don't let up when they have any sort of advantage at all, at, at all <laughs> as you can see there. I'm at a loss for words. It's just absolutely immaculate. It's immaculate overwatch yeah. from the Saints, and I'm excited to see how this looks going into the next game. you have any predictions now after that first sh showcase? Um, I'm pretty confident the Saints are going to run away with this one 3-0 uh, uh, throughout the series, unless this is a first to two. I believe it's first to three. It's usually first it to three with this series, um, unless there was a rule change I'm not aware <laughs> of, but uh, I think the Saints are going to run away with, away with this one 3-0. I usually see with their game plan, um, and this is, goes to a lot of our teams, even some of my players on my team. Like Usually the first game is just figuring out their opponents, and then after that once they have the download, they're skilled enough, experienced enough, and confident enough to adjust their game plan as necessary. And then they're able to really easily come up with whatever strategy they need to overcome whatever opponent strategies that they're bringing to the table. So, you know, Saints, they took that first round, struggled a little bit. But I feel like now they have a good understanding of how University of Utah plays. They're going to be able to take that, adjust, adapt, and play however they think they need to in order to come out on top. Yeah, but I think the next game mode is going to be a flashpoint, if I see that correctly. It's going to be New Junk City, which is always a game mode mm -hmm. that has so much variation. Yeah, a in lot there. of volatility. Like, you could be in the lead, you could get like two out of three of the flashpoints. It's such a quick game mode, mm -hmm. but and it could just be a complete sweep after that. So I'm excited to see how that plays. And I think we're going to see that switching meta that we were just talking about, the little switching advantage mm -hmm. if you're losing, come into play quite a bit more in this flashpoint, right? I think so. It, it's so quick to change. You know, the tides of battle. Some teams are better for taking the point, not as good at holding it, and vice versa. So I think we're going to see a lot more switches come through. Yeah, I think so. And especially, like I mentioned before, that last map was very closed, and you don't really have a lot of opportunities to have any secrets. Yeah. <laughs> uh, but I feel like a much more open map, bigger. There's a lot more sight lines, angles, little creepy. And the point spots. changes after, like, pretty much after every team fight or two. Exactly. And you're forced to constantly be rotating so i think you are able to get a lot more uh tricky with how you play even when teams don't make changes the way they approach their attack is very varied um and it like it's like we said it plays into that volatility element that we see a lot on flashpoint teams are a lot craftier and they're able to get a lot more uh creative with their strategies exactly. let's say and hopefully you'll be able to see some of that in this upcoming game you know what i'd like to see the no map. tracer this game that's not no happen. tracer no tracer. not happening you know because tracer's fun right yeah. but it's not it's hard to follow even if you're a perfect <laughs> observer because it's so fast True. so i just love seeing you know cassidy you know something that can really showcase the aim and the methodical mm. positioning of the players that's Especially just a personal preference since with tracer like optimally you are right in front of your opponent yeah. you can't see anything <laughs> you're just so. seeing their head hopefully <laughs> their or head their back or their gut if yeah. you're trying to face a winston you're just like right in his stomach yep. trying to shoot him you're in his hitbox <laughs> literally inside of winston <laughs> trying to kill him and it's it's hard to follow along with but i believe the saints i think uh they're gonna make whatever sacrifice is necessary even if it means making these a little bit harder to follow they want wanted to get this win and we've seen what they're able to do with that trace and if you're gonna play a very fast-paced character i'd like to see a genji you know true because genji he's cool more vertical movement there got a sword. you got one horizontal movement but it's, it's straightforward you know mm -hmm. tracy can go up down well Tracy can go left right and all around <laughs> but genji it's up down and forward it's so much easier to follow but let's see how they do in this next game we're right in the thick of it now Kalau going to be going down, Bison going to be going down, and hey, I see two Genjis on the board here in New Junk City. Noxious being a Cassidy as well, near identical team comp, so perhaps they figured this one out. Yeah, and looks like uh, I was a little bit correct on what I was saying before. Saints figured this one. They've got University of Utah beat, and they have the point already. And once again, University of Utah playing on the back foot, trying to get any scrap of alt advantage they can to break open the Saints' defense. But if you look on the side of the Saints, look at those percentages. It's not going to come anytime soon, and the first ultimate they're going to have is probably the most valuable one right next to Soaks's when it comes to winning a team fight, or at least saving it. Um, these ultimates not only allow you to open up opportunities, but they allow you to make mistakes.
mistakes more often, and we're going to see Red X use open right away, and University of Utah maybe not expecting this soon, and they're starting to slowly get picked off one by one because of how effective that wow. offense was. A team wipe going their way just because Red X pressed Q, or whatever he has that button bound to. <laughs> All it took was that press. University of Utah felt like they could have taken that fight, but maybe they just miscalculated the alt percentages and got caught off guard, picked off. But at least now they have uh, an ultimate from Juno of their own to work with. But are they really going to commit that with 15% of the spot? Yeah, I don't see that being very likely. I think they're going to do one last ditch effort on this point, though, because you'd like to get whatever advantage you can, especially after how Saint sided that last match was. Big spear by No Sam. Bison going to be going down. Sonic going to be going down potentially very shortly here. Razor. Messing up that back line. Soaks taking one out, and the Saints just know how to destroy them here. Picking them off one by one. They know the crack in the armor, and they know how to just shatter it to pieces. Yeah, that's another team kill for the Saints, but if you look at the alts on the side of University of Utah, they all have their ultimates. I know Bison says 90, but it's not going to be 90 for very long. Sonic with the same 88. Saints, they're going to have Squeak and Noxiouses, but they're not going to have, again, those other vital team fight ultimates. Razor being able to shred the back line, use that ultimate in that last engagement, and and while he was able to get those kills and uh, really cause some havoc, they're not going to have that ready for this team fight. But may he might not even need it. His Noxious finds one. Wow, Squeak, Squeak. Finds two with the ultimate. No Sam going to do quite the same with their own. And Squeak going to execute Sonic as they try to get into that fight. But no thing like that is going to work in the face of St. Clair College. Next flashpoint already under their control. But hey, No Sam use their ult. They rest, have the rest of the ults on the side of Utah still. Yeah, he's going to put that out right there. Saints are going to be walking into this fight with no ultimates. Meanwhile, University of Utah has a four. That's nearly the entire team. No matter how they play, if they play this right, the Saints are not going to have a good time here. Bison already getting an elimination without his ultimate. They're holding on to them for the next team fight. They're going to try and take this one just with pure skill alone. Sonic taking out Noxious. Big tank fight here with no Sam Reddick's going down to Bison. Just picking up the back line now. Uh, taking out all the supports and with no supports there's nothing to stand on but soaks somehow beating out the genji and sonic taking out squeak i cannot believe soaks lived there yeah for I, a little while <laughs> he got was, the genji that was a really uh tricky fight to take for both of them but like we said Soaks able to come out on top and that might have really lasting implications if that's going to allow him to afford his ultimate and even with the rest of the ults on the university of utah in terms of press and have success alt, it's only the the Lucio and Juno alt that really allo allows that. We're going to have to do a lot of setup to get the other value out of the other two. But still, the Saints that have the ultimate they need, they're going to pop them. Soaks with the rally. We're going to see Genji on Bison trying to find any kills he can. He's in the back line of the Saints, but Soaks is going to fall to that assault. Unfortunately for the Saints, they are going to have to come back. Bison is on the point, forcing Squeak off the map, or it looks like he was just self-destructing there to a allow his team to respawn with him as they're trying to find their way back into the point. 75% on the University of Utah. They have this control. Can the Saints find their way back in time to take this point? I think they will find it rather worthy to commit their ultimates to take this one because otherwise the University of Utah will be on the game point and that's a stressful situation to be in. Uh, they'll even up the score line at that point, but the Saints will be on a game point, so they're going to do everything in their power to prevent this one. No Sam getting one out. Razor diving in there. Bison getting a trade as well. The Saints are falling apart, but Squeak finds one with the blade going on. Razor needs to find some value here. He finds one, finds two. Can he find three? He cannot. This is Ooh, looking six. to be an absolute blowout right here. The Saints scrambling for this point. They have point control. They Through all that yeah. chaos, I did not even see that happen. Yeah, like I said, the Saints, they found it worthy to commit the ultimates because once they get this point, now University of Utah is looking at game point. They cannot afford to lose the next, and they still don't have ultimates to work with. Saints take this control, and now they don't really care what happens next. They are just going to go to this point, see what happens. Whatever happens on the side of University of <laughs> Utah, any ult that's used, the Saints are happy about it because University of Utah will have to go into that next map, that next site, that next uh, rotation. Flashpoint is what it's called. Without that ultimate in their pocket. And unless University of Utah is able to clean up their team fighting perfectly on this next flashpoint, it is going to come down to whether or not they're going to be able to hold on to as many as possible while still maintaining control. That's a very difficult task to do against the Saints. As we already see, they're mounting their assault. Noxious with the high noon. Almost fighting three heads, but just a little bit too Ooh. late. Radix is going to find the tank on the side of University of wow. Utah. They're not going to have a Razor finding two immediately after. Noxious with 
with the assistance from the rest of the team taking down Juno. It's just Lucio who's nowhere to be found. Saints taking full control. And once again, they still have the alt advantage. University of Utah looking at a very dangerous situation. They have to figure out what they want to do next. Yeah, it's very precarious here. It's going to be very tough to push on this point as well. This one's very enclosed, very few points of entry. That's the one the Saints want to end on and win this whole thing out on. Bison going on the flank, using that reflect to get some alt charge here. Has Blade ready. If they play this right, they might be able to win this. Juno alt committed by Ray. Squeak finding a one. No Sam finding another in the back line. Soaks his trades left and right. No Sam getting one more. Can they find a trade right back? The Saints still have their tank. They still have their support on the board they need to play this perfectly but Razor down to Ooh. one HP somehow gets out and gets the Juno and now with the Orisa very low no Sam's gonna be pushing in on oh to God. squeak and he gets the spear gets the kill and the point controls flipped over to Utah during that fight so now they're gonna be able to even out the score line that cost them so much time though chasing down squeak and guess what 99% on squeak with his ultimate no Sam thankfully gonna have the ultimate themselves Saints with way more in their back pocket however Red X with that press for success ultimate on Juno. This next team fight, no matter what happens, unless the Saints make a huge blunder, is gonna go their way. If that's just how it works with the Juno's ultimate. Rage is gonna be able to also use the Dragon Blade and they can find the perfect opportunity for it. It can be devastating. High Noon's gonna get is. called out, but Saints are able to find enough cover. Still gonna find Soaks, however. Thankfully, they didn't have the rally, so don't have to worry about that too much. Red X trying to find a nice even footing, trying to get a kill, in fact. He has a lot of ambition here. We're gonna get taken down for his efforts. Razor's gonna dash through five Find Lucio, and that's going to be another team kill for the Saints as they switch control back over to their side. They still have two devastating DPS alts to work with, but it's going to be a little bit difficult to make them uh, very successful, especially now that Sonic is coming under control with his Sonic Boom. Yeah, this is going to be a very dangerous situation for Utah. If they have that Lucio ult, they might be able to squeak through all this offensive mm -hmm. pressure that Sinclair has. With time ticking, it's going to be very, very dicey. Utah needs control of the point. The Saints are going to be stuck at this point. We see the high noon get popped. Tries to get an Ooh. angle, but gets stunned out by a spear. Beautiful play by No Sam. Saves his entire team there, and Sonic eliminating Soaks. It's just going to be a bloodbath here with Razor popping the ult as well. He needs to find the pick on the tank, and he does! huge he goes down for it but don't even care without your tank you are going to be struggling so much you already see as soon as the Arisa goes down the rest are very soon to follow and that's going to be the game for the Saints 2-0 over University of Utah and I just want to point out before we even get too far into analyzing that game the mechanical skill on University of Utah was impeccable you saw how he literally threaded the needle with that yeah spear. that was through the entire crowd so of impressive. people Wow, and Noxious, what was his play here? I cannot remember I here, Razor off. finds one. He just had the cleanup pressure here on, on Razor and the rest of the team. Getting wow. everyone so low, that's what Cassie's the best at. That's just that big chunk of damage. That last headshot really just sent a shiver down my <laughs> spine. Seeing Juno just... <laughs> it's, just, it's enough to make a grown man cry, but still, Saints having a very, very strong showing in that game, in that series. I'm really happy with what we're seeing so far. If they can play like yeah. that through the rest of the day. W's all around. That was the series as well. I guess we have our answer now. It's two out of three, and the Saints got the two. Oh, against the University of Utah. And something I want to point out there is the very different approach to ultimates in that last game. Mm -hmm. Utah had a very conservative approach, trying to save it for that one perfect moment, like a perfectionist would. But the Saints, they were like, if we just keep using them, we'll end up having more alts in the game, right? Like literally, and they, and they used them at the right time. And those team fights were so close that just using those alts very liberally there, <laughs> liberally there, won them those fights. Exactly. You can use your uh, alt conservation very well in certain circumstances, especially when you're playing uh, with a lead. But mm -hmm. when you are playing from behind, a little bit of a principle I recall from playing TF2 back in the day <laughs> is like, if you have your Uber charge, just 99% of the time, just, just use, use it. it. <laughs> especially since using it will often force whatever commitments whatever resources that the enemy team has they have no choice but to answer yours even if it's not the perfect time the only thing worse than a poorly timed uber charge or ultimate in this case is no ultimate and oftentimes they went two fights in a row they had all their ultimates they didn't use them either time and that just means that they don't they, the amount of time they would have taken to get another ultimate they could have used that one and had another one ready for the next fight when they just held it on the entire time but now the saints didn't have to use their ultimates um, as a result yeah, but with that result being a St. Clair win, we're going to throw it over to a very quick break, and we'll be right back with the next game.